We all remember this play, man. We all remember this play. Um, and at the time, I was like, yo, just the aggressive way Kalia plays, um, Caitlin. Um, and then <laughs> I, I knew there was going to be some smoke with them in the future, man. Even though later on after this dust up where Caitlin tried to um, stop the ball from clunking Kalia upside the head, Kalia came back and um, apologized for misinterpreting her uh, for misinterpreting her gesture here. Like Kalia, it's like I'm playing you like a dog. I'm reaching. I'm pushing. So yeah, obviously this act, this this hand near my head is uh, is you trying to be aggressive back with me. So I mean, Kalia probably you know, listen, it made sense that she thought that because she's being very, 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 very aggressive with Caitlyn. Um, so yeah, um, but I still knew that there was going to be trouble in the future with these two. Um, and then fast forward. Um, I think this is what that was the first time they played Phoenix. This is the third time. So fast forward a few games and Kalia Coppers coming down on the break, man. She's coming down on the break and, uh, Kayla takes a foul. It's called a take foul. It's called a take foul. Kayla made sure, tried to keep her up, but she, you know, she, Kalia, Obviously, and you know, fashion that's who Kalia is in the league. She's feisty, she's from Philly, man. You know, she she wears that on her shoulder. She's from Philly. She went to Rutgers. Shout out to Don Imes. Um, so it's like she um she, she I don't think she a lot of people think she got mad because this was Caitlin. I don't know, but I do know this. These two ladies on the screen here. Nobody would know their names if it weren't for their beef with Caitlin Clark. And I'm not saying that Kennedy wouldn't be known in like niche WNBA circles, like people who like follow the W, like the old fans, not us new fans that are sucking the life out of the league, but the old fans that were breathing life into the league. They would know who Kennedy Carter was. They would know who De Dejanae Carrington was. But none of us new fans that are sucking the life out of the league would know who either of these girls were if it weren't for their dust-ups and their um, just antagonizing, their sassiness, their rough physical, um, their, their, their tweets – incessant tweets about Caitlyn, their digs at her, their accusations that they've levied against her. Um, so if I'm Kalia, I see this and I'm tasked with guarding Caitlyn. Like she's my assignment. And, you know, we're, we're, we're constantly in, you know, each other's faces when our teams play. Um, even though it's about, it's, it's allegedly about Deanna, Diana or the Di Ty Tyrososaurus Rex, <laughs> the dinosaur known as Tyrososaurus Rex. Um, the real beef is the real uh, matchup is between Kaylin and Kalia are on each other's level. You know what I'm saying? As far as impact. Like, Kalia brings a lot to the table for her team, whether it be defense, whether it be scoring, you know, and um, the things she does. She's a all-purpose player. Um, and she's roundly ignored. She was disrespected by Cheryl Reeve at the Olympics. She's um, not a star. You don't see any tweets on none of the um, black sites like, you know, Media takeout and um, shade room and just all of the, the hundreds of sites on Twitter and IG that black people go to for their news that feature Angel Reese all the time. Um, you don't see Kalia Copper, you know, lauded when she goes for 30, you know, on, 
on a regular basis. She's second in the league in scoring or something like that. She's um made the Olympic team. They they don't they roundly ignore her. Um, and a, a, a rivalry with Clark would get, raise her profile to where it's deserved. She deserves to be spoken in the same light as Kennedy Carter and Dejanae Harrington. I think she's better than um, Dejanae Harrington. I think she's better than Kennedy Carter. Slightly better than Kennedy Carter. Slightly. She's a forward. Kennedy's a guard. But I mean, she's slightly better than Kennedy Carter. Um, but K Kalia wants some smoke, man. And she's seen that that's a way to get notoriety, to get your name known, that people know who you are. Um, and her game, as great as it is, has yet to do that. Um, so I wouldn't... Um, I'm not going to sit here and um, act shocked that, you know, anytime Caitlin does anything, looks wrong or breathes wrong around her, she's like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anytime Caitlin do anything. Caitlin Wiper, no, what's some school? You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, man, I, I get it, man. Uh, <laughs> This one says any other player there would be no problem, only because it's CC. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think. Um, yeah, from what I've seen from Kalia Copper, she's she's a fire. She's she's fiery. She's a she's a spark plug. She's a firecracker. So she might actually, you know, take umbrage with anybody doing that. We saw what she did to the Nigerian players at the um, at the Olympics. Um. Definitely just a foul. They <laughs> they GTA let that CC hate, dislike, or whatever it is go. <laughs> they got us. He said they got to let that, that go. That, damn, we're, we're, we're shortening got to? Hey, man. They've abbreviated got to. Isn't got to already abbreviation of got to? <sighs> this one calls her weak mind. <laughs> said Copper's a free throw merchant. No, nah, she 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 got she wasn't James Harden and she wasn't tricking people into fouling her last night. She was being aggressive and people were fouling her because she was growing to the basket hard. She wasn't she wasn't doing the James Harden thing with cheap, cheap. Free throws, tricking the refs and stuff like that. No, nah, she wasn't doing that. Um, this one says it's okay, Caitlin Cole. <laughs> She's a better player right now than Caitlin. <laughs> nah, she also shoots better from the field. While Caitlin is actually is the actual free throw merchant. <laughs> Caitlin never gets calls, but whatever. She said, but of course you never watch Kalia play until tonight, you casual cultist. <laughs> if you're a cultist, you've seen all three of the games, so you've seen Kalia play at least three times this year now. If you're a Caitlin cultist, brother. And she got 38 the last game. And the first game, she only had seven because she was trying to lock Caitlin down. So everybody knows who Kalia is. We know who Kalia is, but she doesn't have that high profile that she would get if she had a like an open beef with Caitlyn, like a, a beef, like um Dejanay and um Kennedy had. Hit the like button, subscribe, get in the comment section. Peace. I'm out of here.